up with the barnet, hang with us for Flogmas. Yeah, we lit on Christmas, kicking it with the barnet, kicking it with the barnet, kicking it with the barnet. Yeah, we lit on Christmas, kicking it with the barnet. What's good, Barnett family? Back with another video. It's your girl, Christine. So, it's early Sunday morning, and I just got up, and I'm just going to... Never thought to do a morning routine. Oh, yes, I have on a do-rag. Uh, my son, Sam's do-rag. I'm actually going to get me a new one today. But, I just recently cut my hair and dyed my hair. Literally for New Year's. I've been wanting to dye my hair for, like... Maybe I say the entire year or last year sometime. I've been thinking about it, but I was just too scared to jump out and do it. So, it's done. I did it. Um, not sure if I should wash my face first, then do my hair. But I think I'm going to do my hair first and then wash my face because that oil and stuff starts to drip down. Um, but anyway, um, I have known since I dyed my hair that... It's in super, super duper, super duper dry. Okay, so what I am using on my hair, and it actually has not been super dry the last two days. The first two days, it was dry, dry. But now the last two days, it has been coming back to its natural state. So I am I have been using pink hair lotion or moisturizer. Um, it does have castor oil in it. So that is one thing I did here. On a video that castor oil helps relieve the dryness when you get it dyed. I am using B&B &B Super Grow because this is what my husband says he used for his waves. And he always had really good waves regardless of what he does. Then my own little mixture I was using when I was trying to grow my hair. Um, before I found out I had alopecia. So I was using castor oil. Um, I've got two other oils that were in this but it really does help. Me too, and I use a lot because this is just a little bit left. But I was actually helping it keep relieve my hair. And sometimes I will throw in, because I love Cantu, leave-in conditioner by Cantu. It's repair cream. So I just started using this one. So it provides intense moisture, leaving hair soft, manageable. So I do throw this in once, maybe once a day, because I will grease my hair twice a day and brush it you know i don't want to put too much oil and everything in it but do it in the morning and at night and i will do this at least once so it stays moisturized so i do use all that i know it's probably a lot but my hair was super dry and i had to try so many different combinations to keep my hair from being dry so with this being the fourth day i wasn't expecting to get waves but i do have some if you can see they're not super defined but they're coming in. So, what I'm going to do first is typically I take this pink hair lotion and I'll just take just a little bit, just a squirt, not too much, just enough. Take it and all my entire hair with that. It feels so good because I will tell you the first day that I did all my, I did, um, Dyed my hair the second day. It was so itchy. It was itching all day. And I mean, I was going through something. Because I don't like to scratch my hair. But it was itching so bad. Alright. So then I take that. Take a little bit of the B&B. &B because this stuff feels so good. It really does. And it smells so good. So this is with the vitamin E. Um, It has coconut oil in it. It's extra light, and I think that's why I like it because it's extra light. It's not thick. It's really soft to the hair, and I like it. I like anything that smells good. Not everything that smells good is good for you, but that one is good. Then I'll take a little bit of my oil. Not a lot comes out, just a little bit. And then I'll put that over it. I know my hair is greasy. That's why I'm going to wash my hair after. I mean, wash my face after I get done. And then take a little bit of this and I'm gonna rub it all in really good this has really been helping it's been coming cutting down on the itching and I don't know you know I'm new to this I've been like trying to go with a lot of different what other people say works for them not everything that works for you works for someone else or someone else works for you you know you all can tell me what are some things you used in your hair 
my son has actually been telling me and keeping me on. He's like, like giving me every single tip that I need to, you know, get waves. I'm really just trying to maintain this hair and not let it dry out so my head does not fall off. And remember, again, in the beginning of the video, I did tell you all that I just found out in November that I had alopecia. I do know it possibly <laughs> starts within, and I probably would have to work on, you know, different eating habits, which that's something I'm going to also do that may help. But I was, that's my husband's hand rubbing my head. So then I'm going to also show you what I do after. Now, the first day that I did dye my hair because of what I was using, I was kind of scared, so I did not use my medication that first day. I made sure the day that I died, it was not a day that I needed to use it. I have been, <laughs> I have been using this for the last two months, I want to say now. And it was first, I was using it for the first two weeks. Every day, once a day. And then I also use Rogaine. So I'm going to show you all that stuff too. But I was using it every day, once a day. And then after the first two weeks, it went to just three times a week. So because it was medicine, I didn't want it to clash with that dye because that is a chemical. And I just, I'm barely getting a little hair around the edges. I don't want to let my little hard work that I did get just get just destroyed. So I laid off of it just for a few days so that way my hair doesn't fall out. Because... <laughs> I know your hair does not make you, but I just did not want to start all over. So I just, you know, better safe than sorry. So according to my son and my husband, in order to maintain waves and get the deep wave, you have to keep brushing your hair. Now, I'm not about to brush as much as they tell you to brush. They're like, oh, yeah, you got to brush your hair every hour for 15 minutes. Nah, that is a lot. My goal is not to get waves. My goal is just to maintain my haircut, maintain this dye. And that's it. I'm not trying to. The waves will be a plus. If I get them, I get them. So, this is what I am using. Topical solution. So, this is what I use. See if it can focus. It won't focus. Use this three times a week. So, I just take a little bit. They just said put a little bit in the area. Just take it a little bit and go around. And then I... Rub it in all because I'm losing. I lost all of this. The front of my edges and everything. I literally five years ago went natural. When me and Sam got married. Like the night before we got married. That was when I decided to go natural. And I cut all my hair off. And you know they say when women cut their hair off. They were making a drastic change. Yes, I was getting married. So I cut all my hair off. And I went natural. And I also in doing this unconsciously was doing that because I felt like something was happening with my hair. I really didn't pay attention to them. I went to the dermatologist in November and she asked, how long have you noticed? I said probably about two years. My husband said he's been noticing about more than that. I didn't really think about it. So I started looking back in pictures. I'm like, yes, I've been losing it since probably 2015, 16, something along them lines. I have been stress a lot i have this i would just thought it was so much stuff i was just doing every single thing everything everything and it was so embarrassing to talk about even in the dermatologist's office i was so like i was devastated because she was like oh this will happen this when you know how doctors tell you things i'm not taking away from them they go to school for it but sometimes you have to trust in things that you do natural remedies herbs god you know pray about it you know teach your song so i use that three times a week now and I use Rogaine I was embarrassed to say it not anymore but I use Rogaine the men version not the women because the women's not strong enough she said that it was a 50 50 I would either I would not get back what I had 100% but I could either 50% get a little bit or nothing so honestly it has started because I had nothing but you can kind of tell in this line I get my hair cut really really low because I want to not tell the difference between this and I'm actually saying this because some women think that you can't go out and it, it happens to a lot of African-American women actually um, I was doing a little bit of research on it. So it's a very common thing. It's not always tension. 
my alopecia because that's not what I have. So the my blood cells in my body are being attacked incorrectly and they're attacking my follicles. And this medicine that I'm taking is to reduce the spread. So this is reducing the spread because it had spread all the way back to right here. So that's to reduce the spread. It's not to grow my hair. It's to stop uh, inflammation. Exactly. The inflammation. This, you know, stops the inflammation and the spread. And then the Rogaine, which I'm only using one milliliter um, twice a day. Twice a day. That's the only way you're going to see the results. I'm not going to lie. At first, I was doing it twice a day. Then I got kind of lazy. I was doing it once a day. Then I forget. And I wasn't seeing no results. So I had to like, you know what, Christine? You got to stick to it. Stick to it. The biggest thing about doing something is the commitment part. You could tell yourself you're going to do it, but the commitment part is the part that you have to stick to it. So I take this and I just, because it's really kind of greasy and I have to use it on the affected area. So none of my other parts of my hair is infected, except it's just the front. And um, I was getting my hair cut the other day and I can call him now my barber because I've been going to him for at least three years for hair and then probably an extra one for eyebrows but um he was saying that you know it also is what you eat you know what i'm saying so i also got to get in the habit of trying to change my diet we were doing a lot of just healthy foods where we we're only doing turkey fish chicken a lot of uh stir fries you know no fried foods but then being at home it just kind of it went downhill. We're here. We were trying different things and it just went from healthy, healthy, healthy to just, oh, we don't really eat so much fried food. Oh, it's dripping. We don't really eat so much fried food, but we have started going out to eat a lot more. At first, in the beginning of COVID, we were not going out to eat at all because I just had it in my head that I didn't want to go anywhere. People were sick and not telling me bosses and they showing up to work because people need money for their family and I definitely understand that but you know we just wasn't going but then afterwards you know when it kind of died down a little bit before the spike again well and so they say we started going out to eat a lot and I've been gaining weight so that's another thing so I did go ahead and I got it all spread out all over my head so I only do this I do this twice a day and I've been maintaining it. Got to clean up a little saran. All right. And so that is my hair routine as far as getting everything done in one. So I did my medicine. I've done my brushing. I'm going to put my do-rag back on. But after... I finish with um, my face. So I was trying different things because my face just started breaking out. I think it's the food too because I haven't had the best skin, like the clearest skin on the earth. Just like it could be better. Anyone's anything could be better. But um, I have um, started back. My husband bought a lot of different stuff. I've never used Neutrogena, any of that stuff. I just always use just regular soap and water. I don't use any um smell good stuff on my face i just use just plain soap sometimes dove unscented or um beauty bars so right now i'm currently using just a beauty bar and i know the alopecia thing a lot of people don't want to talk about it and a lot of people don't even little literally i'm not gonna even lie it took me two years of knowing what was going on before i pushed myself and said forget it i'm gonna go because when i went i was able to tell so many other people who have now since went and women is not only tension alopecia that's a common alopecia is common in african american it is not that that's not every time we think about alopecia the first thing we say that's tension alopecia. that's not the only alopecia that's out there it is common but that's not the only one the only way to know what you have is to do your own research and to go to the doctor to get tested for them to look that's the only way to know and I finally, I'm happy that I went because now I can stop wondering what if, why I didn't, because I was literally bald. Oh my God. Oh, I was bald, bald. And another reason why I did color my hair was because I've heard some people say that coloring it kind of hides it. I'm not trying to hide it, hide it, but I'm trying to make it better. So when I go out, I feel better and more confident because 
not having your hair is something that does take away your confidence. I'm not going to lie. So I know I'm kind of throwing it out there. This is something that I literally went through and I cried about it. And I just have to, you know, give to God. I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to let this make or break me. But I know for some people they hide it. But you got to think about some people are worse off. They don't have hair and it won't come back. Hair is just, it's just a thing. You cut it, it grows. It's not for everybody. It doesn't grow. But, you know, your own situation may be different from someone else's. And the best way to get through it is to talk about it. So I'm done that. But now I'm going to go to the rest of my morning routine. I just wanted to show you all my hair routine. So every day I'm going to be checking in. I'm doing do what my son calls the wave check. You want to do your wave check? He wanted to do his wave check so he could show y'all his ways. So he, because we're quarantining, we really are quarantining. We haven't been going to the barbershop. Literally, this is my first time since the quarantine kicked off. I've been to get my hair cut. My son, he's this is his second time going. Second time, right? Third. Third going to the barbershop since the quarantine because we haven't been trying to go. My husband only been twice. The girls don't go to the shop at all. I do their hair. So... That we really are quarantining, but go ahead and do your wave check. Wave check. Come on. Eee. Lift your head up a little bit. Look at those. Look at those. <laughs> <laughs> so he literally monitors my hair every day. He comes in, Ma, did you brush? Did you put the grease on there? Did you take the waves off last night? Did you do? Because me, I forget. I'm not on it. You know, it just is what it is. But he monitors everything to the T. He's trying to get me to get ways like him. I'm just trying to keep my hair maintained and, you know, possibly go a little bit more edges. You know, don't laugh at me. It took a lot for me to just tell you all this, you know, and actually feel OK with expressing this. Because little do you know, there's so many people out there that don't want to talk about it. They have a wigs and this. We should be able to brace. There's nothing wrong with wearing wigs. I literally got like 10 wigs in my room. But sometimes you just have to talk about it because if you talk about it, it helps other people be like, you know what? If she could do it, I can do it. I watch so many women on YouTube talk about it. And they were my inspiration to like, you know what? You're not the only one going through this. You just were scared. And now that you've been there, you've been in their shoes, you talked about it, you figured it out. I still don't know 100% about alopecia. I'm still trying. I'm still trying to figure things out. But... I do know the little bit that I know is is not something that should make you hide from who you are and how you feel. It is a confident thing. If you have confidence and it uh, more power to you, but it can break your confidence. It did for me. But now that I'm figuring things out, I'm a little bit more confident. Plus, I love my color. It is like popping, popping. But, you know, leave in the comments down below if you all think I should try this for my hair what clashes what doesn't work if i'm sh if i should not be using this stuff and that medicine you know i'm still doing research as we go on um i haven't been to the doctor since november i'm not going back to february but if you have any tips be sure to leave them down in the comment section remember to like share subscribe follow and hit that notification bell peace kicking it with the barnet kicking it with the barnet yeah we live on christmas kicking it with the barnet